Death is the final punchline at the end of everyone's life. Though not everyone gets to laugh, you reach your own end. Excuse me, dearie. Behold, mortal! You have entered the domain of the dead! To where would you like us to send your restless soul? Perhaps it shall reside in the jar of endless torment! Or, for a nominal fee, mayhaps into the wooden closet of hell to be lowered into the very maw of Hades himself? Let me just check my husband's will. <clears throat> Mrs. Doeward, while I do appreciate your, um, passion for performance, I'm afraid this is one egregious step too far. Come on, Halloween is in a few weeks. Right, but this is a funeral home! You're fired, Penny! Well, you can't fire me. I quit! You can't quit, Mrs. Doeward. I just fired you. My quitting is retroactive, boss. How's that taste? Hey, Penny! I'm on, boyfriend. Future Penny can easily find a new job tomorrow. But for now, present Penny is in a bad mood and wants to cheer herself up. And food, movies, and smooches are gonna be perfect! Hey, can you drive? It's just, I've been having nightmares. Premonitions, I guess you'd call them. Something bad happening lately, so I'd rather not drive distracted. So you're keeping the demon horns? I like them. Yep, best part of the uniform, and I had to pencil it into the dress code. And don't worry about the job. You'll probably fall into a new one within the week. Ideally, it'll be the one that lets me keep the spooky Halloween theme. Yeah. Hey, the fog's getting pretty thick. Whoa, uh, are you okay? Fine. Not hurt at all, actually. That was really lucky. Good. Take that, Death! <sighs> we better get back before the fog gets even thicker. We can take care of the car later. Come on, let's cut across the graveyard. Really? We almost died once today. What are you, afraid of ghosts? Penny, if a real ghost appeared, you would probably be a little afraid. Nah, I just say, ah, holy crap, a ghost! And then be totally cool. Classic me. Ooh, a mausoleum. Let's check it out. I don't know. As you can see, it's perfectly safe. Penny Dewood had just been fired. This was not the first time she'd been fired for, in her words, just trying to liven things up. But it would be the last. Deciding not to let a funeral home bring her down, Penny drove off with her boyfriend, Elliot, to try to have a fun night out. And were it not for someone, or something, appearing on the road in front of them, she might have succeeded. Seeing something on the road, Penny did the sensible thing. What? Where am I? What happened? Ah! Holy crap! A ghost! Welcome to the land of the dead! <laughs> Cute. 
No, see, there must be a mistake because I am an alive human. Ah, denial. The first stage. You get through it. After that, there's anger and bargaining, both fun, and then depression, honestly a drag, but then acceptance. Okay, good luck on your journey. I'm not in denial! I deny it! Welcome to the party! Sorry, not dead. Also, not in denial. Hey there, newbie! Don't forget to book the spa early if you want a place. It fills up with ghosts fast. I'm not a go- Wait, there's a spa? Well, there's a cesspool of tears. Can't miss it. It's always screaming. Somehow. That's not a spa. Right, and you're not a ghost. Apologies, Lady Elderdell, as I'm sure you know, staffing is an issue here, and we're- Hey, sorry to interrupt, uh, whatever this is, but I think there's a small chance I may have died, um, somehow, and- Wait, what are you doing here? Demons aren't allowed on this level. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a demon. I'm actually just- Oh my gosh, the temp I ordered, finally! The temp? The temp! Finally, after 1,825,911,238 hours without a break, I get a vacation! Oh, the moon, here I come! The... the moon? You've never been? It's the one place near Earth where nobody has ever died. No ghosts, no demanding restless spirits, just a peaceful wasteland of rest, relaxation, and rock collecting us over 300,000 kilometers from the nearest soul. <sighs> Can't wait. Uh, You'll need this side. Okay. And this cloak. Company policy. But... And I'm sure Lady Elderdo can provide any training you need. She clearly believes she knows what's best for everyone. Why you? You... Insolent! Well, goodbye. Death is going on vacation. They didn't give you any training at the temp office, did they? Uh, no, because typical. I'm not... Just typical. All right, I'll give you the basics. See those ghost critters? I need you to catch them. Throw your scythe up there, then use its switcheroo powers to teleport yourself right to it. <laughs> Wait, this thing teleports? No way, no way! That's awesome! I can definitely be the temp lady. Right, you're not as completely useless as I'd feared. Uh, thanks. It's time to possess a human. Possess? Like actual crawl on the ceiling while vomiting possession? That's rarely necessary. See that chap? Once you have enough ghost critters, try possessing him. insane! I'm actually inside this guy's head! And there's all these things I can pull! What does this do? By the postman. Man, I'm the best at naming ice cream flavors. I can name 50 of them, no problem! Including two secret flavors from the government. What are the secret government flavors? <laughs> yeah, right! Like I'd tell a voice in my head that! Nice try, telepathic ice cream cone! Huh, seems like you learn all sorts of useful things while mind reading, and less useful. Now, what happens if I push here? <laughs> this is fun! Control over my legs now! Huh? 
All right, that's enough, Temp. I'm pretty sure I got murdered. I remember getting married and then, bam, Corpse City. Oh. I can't move on until my killer is brought to justice. I'm freezing my bum off, so I'm in some place cold. And it smells like, I want to say, TV dinners? Go find my killer, Temp. I have a feeling you should check my bridegroom's mansion. It's up in the forest. You got to cross the lake. That way. Oh, so that's how come nobody can escape death. There's a magic map on his scythe. It all makes sense. Did you notice that weird ghost hand up there? I'm pretty sure I saw it grab a monster. Thanks for the tip. Uh, need any hand with that fire on your head, or...? No! Ah, ah, I'm fine, thanks! Ahoy! I see old secret mistress has caught your eye. Huh? Why, the Birdland lover! Named her myself, I did. After me mistress, who, incidentally, I absolutely did not want my wife to know about. You know, I would have guessed building a boat that you effectively named the SS I'm having an affair, I'd have tipped her off. Oh, <laughs> that it did. Oh, me wife murdered me in a jealous rage. Nicked me before I could finish painting my boat. All her planks need now are a fresh coat of paint. And I could finally rest me weary bones in peace. And just moved it to the other side. Neat. Problem. <laughs> 
your world? Look at it. Ah, stupid cream! Shouted the Black Master. Not while I still wield my sugar blaster! <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> You'll never succeed, Black Master. He shouted as the two giant cones he surgically implanted on his fist started to slowly by cuspids this rocks! How in the. Thanks, career counselor. Being a dentist was such a great idea. It's not like I wrote, I hate bad breath and gross open mouths on my application and underlined it five times. I, the crazy dentist, resolved to be calmer. I will no longer engage the rage. Quiet, unwanted inner voice. The rage has already been engaged. Ventures. The masked dentist and his sidekick, the drill, are on the go. To get married, we'll be home for tea. What? Again? What is that, number five? What was wrong with the last bride? What did she say, my love? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nothing, my dear love, nothing. My dear old mother was just speaking out of turn. She was sneaking out of ferns? Oh. Oh, my. We about to lay the smack down on some Reese's Cups! I have a feeling you should check my bridegroom's mansion. It's up in the forest. You got... Ah! The evil ice cream has taken control over my legs now! Should anyone know any reason why these two... old women and then killing them for their money was a bloody excellent idea. Hey, George, I don't think you should do that. Oi, a voice inside my head? Are you my conscience? Huh, I've never had a conscience before. Uh, yes. <clears throat> George, this is your conscience speaking. Don't murder anyone. 
Well, I'm afraid you and I will have to differ on that one, love. Oh, dang it. I'll just follow my stupid legs then. delicious as it looks. Now I've got to rub the paint off on something. And for heaven's sake. Back, 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 back. You've made an old sea dog happy today. Oh, it was my pleasure. Oh, but let an old ghostly sea dog give you a word of advice, eh? I'd wager my last jib sheet that it's the husband that killed Lady Elder Doe. And if I were you, I'd set a spyglass upon him there. Thanks. Hi. Ah, uh, secret mistress. I love you, secret mistress. I'll leave you two alone. Hey, take my boat. Go investigate the husband's house up in the forest. Something fishy is going on there. Hey, take my boat. Yes, yes, you are on the right track. His mansion is supposedly up in the forest. Come on, I'm very cold. I, I cannot believe it. I take care of this forest my whole life. Then I get shot by somebody's mom, and they build a house right on top of my favorite spot. This is the opposite of justice. I'll never rest until this house is moved out of this forest. So what you're saying is this situation is unbearable? Heard them all before, lady. This is actually really dangerous! Apparently over here is the best place to be! Man, this hex makes me look pretty cool! Not that a guy like me cares about fashion, though. But still, dang! Looking good, me! There's nothing wrong with caring about how you look. What's that inner monologue? You think I look hot, too? Oh, I thank you! Wow! It looks like my walking sticks have a mind of their own! There's something off about that guy who lives there. Look, I live in the woods and travel literally everywhere with an axe in my hands. But even I'm creeped out by him! I didn't want to be in that location anyway! Thank you. 
a really good place for you to be zoning wise. Finally, the house is moved. I can rest. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm almost unbearably happy. Well, well, I, I was going to say extremely happy. I, I am almost extremely happy. And I must say, your eagerness to make specious-based puns is both distressing and extremely problematic. Good day, woman. Huh, well, that was unbearably rude. Well, watch any horror movies lately? Check the basement? Get out of the way! I have no idea why I'm doing this! The only person who gets in here is my son, George. And whoever his current wife is too, I guess, but does he? Wow! It looks like my walking sticks have a mind of their own! For all the houses to creep up to, you choose the one protected by a blind old lady with a shotgun. Not a smart move, dearie. There. Is it someone who's looking to get shot? I did what? Hey, I was contemplating my next killing here. George, is that you? What's the secret word? I say, Mother, it's murder. It's always been murder. Oh, dearie, you've such an imagination on you. Welcome home, sweetie. Oh, blimey, there's the dead body I keep in my freezer. God, I should really find a better place for him. I say, old bean, marrying rich old women and then killing them for their money was a bloody excellent idea. Hey, George, I don't think you should do that. Oi! A voice inside my head? Are you... my conscience? <laughs> I've... Look. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, bugger! This is a spot of bother?
Hey, I'd suddenly feel great. Almost as if you someone like much more confident than I am was my decisively I controlling am my actions. At <laughs> anything in this Oof. foolish village. Oof. 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 Police officer, so you shouldn't shoot me. Uh, you shouldn't shoot anyone, really. But uh, but we make the laws, so we made it extra bad to shoot us. The man here to take my guns away? Of course. No, uh, I'm not the man. He's uh, stuck somewhere else. Uh, but if I promise not to take your guns, will you promise not to shoot me? We have an accord. For now. Hey, I'd suddenly feel great. Almost as if so. Okay, Ronald. You can do this. We can get through this day without messing up. Believe in yourself, Ronald. You've got this. Yeah, go you. Thanks, inner voice. You're much louder than usual today. Oh, bother. You are under arrest for the murder of Lady Elder Doe. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a... That's what I say in America, officer. What are you, new? Not new, creep. Confident. Ow! Hey! And you're going away for a very, very long time. Sorry you got murderized, lady. Oh, it's okay. Happens to the best of us, I'm afraid. And thanks to your help, finally my spirit can rest. You know, when I was alive, I was always afraid to see a goth out on the street. But you've showed me today that under all that scary black clothing, we're all just people. Oh, no, I'm not a goth. I'm just... I'm just dressed up as death, which is absolutely the most goth thing ever. Okay, right. Thanks again, dearie. Well, things were looking out well. Uh, for liberal enough definitions of well, for penny.